everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news willing to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced that the end of the season of Alola has come, which of course will be ending on June 1st, and there will be a new research story that if you completed all four special research stories involving the island entities, you'll unlock the, the, the special research story Alola to Alola for free. If you didn't complete them, you can also buy it in the in-game store for about $5 or equal equivalent currency depending on which part of the world you are in. And the rewards for this include two Poffins, a lore module, four Lucky Eggs, an encounter with an Alolan Raichu with the possibility of it being a shiny and a pom-pom style or a coracle avatar hat and so much more. That's for completing the Melee Melee Island Path. For completing the Akula Island Path, your rewards are an incense, two incubators, a super incubator, and a Lolan Marowak encounter and a pal style or coracle hat for your avatar for the ala ala island path you get a glacier lore a magnetic lore four incense an encounter with an alone vulpix with the possibility of it being shiny and a bally style or coracle hat for your avatar and for the Pony Island Path, your rewards are a Rocket Radar, three Star Pieces, a Premium Battle Pass, an encounter with an Alolan Executor, which of course could be shiny, and a Zenzu style or a Coracle hat for your avatar. And there will also be a Collection Challenge during this event and of course you can also evolve a Cubone into an Alolan Marowak and it will learn the move Shadow Bone during the event the wild encounters are Alolan Rattata Cubone, Rollet, Litten, Poplio, Peaky Peck, Young Goose, Alolan Meowth, and Alolan Executor. The following Pokemon that are available as Shinies are Alolan Rattata, Cubone, Young Goose, Alolan Meowth, and Alolan Executor. And of course, Alolan Rattata, Alolan Geodude, Alolan Diglett, Alolan Grimer, and Rock Ruff are, are will be in one star raids while Alolan Raichu, Alolan Executor, and Alolan Marowak will be in three star raids while the Island Entities will be all in five star raids. And you can get Alolan Rattata, Dupire, Fomantis, Oranguru, Alolan Meowth, Alolan Grimer, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, and Stuffle in 7k eggs. You can also get the Alolan Starters, Peaky Peck, and Young Goose as field research task rewards. And there will be Avatar items that are new in the store with them being based on the Alolan starters respectively. 
also announced Pokemon Go at Amazon Prime Gaming team up to bring rewards to Prime members, which of course includes bundles such as Pokeballs, Max Revives, and so much more every two weeks. And of course with with Community Day coming this Saturday, these could come in handy. In other Pokemon news, for Pokemon Go, this Saturday, as I mentioned, is Alolan Geodude Community Day. And of course, if you go to the in-person event in New York and other parts of the world, and of course the following colleges that are participating in this event, which of course Amazon Prime are teaming up with Prime Student, you'll get some goodies at the following colleges that are participating in this collaboration. Seattle University, as well as the four campuses of the University of California in Davis, Los Angeles, San Diego, and Santa Cruz. And of course, Niantic will also be bringing in-game communication in a separate app. It will not be within Pokemon Go, but rather in a separate app so you can talk with other trainers to coordinate to do raids with. And of course, this week, Pokemon Home has been officially updated. If you didn't update to Pokemon Home on mobile or your Switch, do it right now. Because now, you can finally connect Pokemon Home to Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legend Arceus. And when you transfer Pokemon from Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Legend Arceus, you get the starters of those games for free but though they are in the Japanese language. For Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you get the Sinnoh starters. For Legends Arceus, you get the Hisuian starters. Only four of the six starters can be tr transferred between the games. Oshawott and Rollet cannot be transferred into Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl because of the fact Oshawott is from Gen 5 and Rollet is from Gen 7. Pokemon from Generations 5 through 8, which includes Hisuian forms, Alolan forms, Galarian forms, as well as Pokemon exclusive to those regions, cannot be placed into Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Legends Arceus. And the OG forms of Pokemon that have Hisuian forms, such as Voltorb, Growlithe, or even Basculin, just to name a few, cannot be transferred into Legends Arceus. But you can transfer Cyndaquil into Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as it's required to complete the national decks in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I will be making my video talking about Community Day which will be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to live stream it because of it being three hours long and ending around two. But stay tuned for the video and I also have other things coming along the way. One more thing. Those other things I'm about to mention are I'm going to be possibly interviewing the documentary filmmaker who was on the December 2021 trip to Cozumel to talk about adapting the dive and I might be reviewing the actual documentary itself, adapt 
expecting the dive. Stay tuned as I hope to bring these videos here on this channel. Thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure.